some say the moon. Why choose this as our goal? Why climb the highest mountain? Why fly the Atlantic? We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Friday, Friday morning, uh, heading to Vermont for a four-day Spartan event. Well, let me backtrack. So, my name is Matt Stevens, and I'm a SEER specialist in the U.S. Air Force. A couple weeks ago, I get a phone call from guys down in San Antonio who recruit for Special Warfare. And they're like, hey, what kind of shape are you in right now? And they're like, you want to do this thing with Spartan? And I was like, well, yeah, that's right up my alley. Like, I love Spartan races. I'd be honored to represent, you know, Special Warfare and, and come out and see what I've got. SEER stands for Survival, Evasion, Resistance, and Escape. Basically, our job is to train uh, any air crew member or high risk of isolation personnel to return with honor. I landed in New Hampshire and the drive was beautiful, but going through my mind, I'm like, they didn't really explain much to me. Something about a long run, uh, some Spartan stuff, some DECA stuff. I was nervous because I knew a few of the names, you know, through social media, you know, different outlets that we had to look at. I figured out, you know, Hunter McIntyre. Yeah, I haven't showered in two days. <laughs> Ryan Adkins, Lindsey Webster, Sam Briggs' name came up. So I'm like, man, these are some big names. Um, but I wanted to see, you know, kind of what I had. So tomorrow we're doing um, basically a Spartan race, OCR, uh, swim, and then um, the Highland Games. I mean, there's a ton of stuff. It's, it's a day packed full of obstacles, running, games, tug of war. So pretty excited about it. Okay, as a reminder, Last, all right? Back in 2003, I had just moved from North Carolina to Minnesota with my mom, and after 9-11 happened, I just, I felt like I wanted to do something. I needed to get out and do something different with my life, so I just came in open general, and I started my Air Force career as a crew chief on C-130s. So C-130s is a cargo aircraft. I'm working on these planes, and I see these go up all the time. Guys are jumping out of them and parachuting down, and I was like, man, that's cool, I want to do that someday. Little did I know that, fast forward five more years, six more years, that that guy jumping on that plane, that exact plane was going to be me. So it was a pretty cool moment in my career. How many laps total the OCR is it? Six. Six. How many laps do you feel? Usually, like in a mountain series race that I'm used to, you, you run three to four miles before you hit an obstacle. This one was just obstacle after obstacle. Special warfare community, there, there's a lot of similarities in Spartan, in obstacle course racing. I mean, most of our work workouts are based off of functional, functional fitness, and I think there's a lot of similarities. That's the type of people that we look for for special warfare, is that person who's got the, the grit, the determination, and that no, no quit, can do attitude. You got this, man. And not give up on themselves, and not give up on their teammates, and I think that's super important. Man, that, that whooped me. It was pretty rough. Guys <laughs> laugh, okay? So from the start, you go to the left side of the green buoy. Who is standing? Hello, Stevens. Stevens, perfect. The swim was, was an event that I think surprised everybody. I was deployed to IUD, and they have two pools, and I swam every single morning. My swim in like five years has never gotten any better. <laughs> I'm, I'm not the greatest swimmer, but I'm not like the worst swimmer. Uh, initially it was cold through our training, through special warfare. I'd been in cold water before. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, so the next event after the swim was the, uh, the Highland Games. So tug of war, um, the stones. And then um, the Kaiser sled. With the tug of war, they had a bracket system. It was single elimination. I was lucky enough to go against six foot three, two hundred thirty-five pound Kurt 
uh, former NFL linebacker, and I'm looking at him, and I'm like, love you, man. Just don't, just don't drag me too far through the dirt. So here we are. I pick up the rope. I look at him. I'm like, yep, I'm ready. Let's go. And then all of a sudden, like, I'm just on my butt getting jarred across the line. So, and that's kind of how it ended. <laughs> So the Atlas Stones, I was a little bit worried because I was I was honestly sore from the Spartan Cross earlier, so like my grip was was pretty shot. I was the last one up. I think I got it in like 32 seconds or 33 seconds. Huge for me. I was like a huge boost in my confidence for the day. And I think resiliency is super important out here on the obstacle course, out here at Spartan. No matter what you're doing, as long as you have that resiliency to keep going. That's what matters is, is wiping that clean and, and starting the day fresh.